everyone, this is Kay from Admain and I am back today with <laughs> another Goodwill haul. The reason really that I wanted to show this one is because I went back to my glass aisle and that is, I, I still think that is one of the best um, territories that are pretty much untapped uh, at Goodwill and because I found a couple of really cool things. Um, I spent, let's see, I went out um, last night. Uh, because I was doing some of the errands and I spent a total of right here uh, $18 um, you know it's a little bit less than you can round up so it was 18 I paid $18 for what I'm about to show you and um, I got a couple of, of, of things I wasn't really planning to do a haul because it was just a, a really quick pop in pop out uh, but then I found a couple of things in the glass aisle and I know that a lot of people really like when I talk about glass. I don't think there are that many people here that talk about glass. So I will show because I did find something that I don't find very often. And uh, I have to show you what it is. Okay, I'm gonna show you everything that I got. Just so you know, you know, $18, this is what bought me. N not all of it is exciting, but I will show you what it got. Uh, just first of all, I got a very, very big uh, storage uh, box, which is exactly why I went in there. I was looking for something kind of big like this for storing oversized scrapbook things. So that is what I actually went in for, and I found it. That's not always the case, right? But anyway, I paid $2, which is a lot better than this one came from Michael's, I think, where they wanted $12.99. So um, that's what I went for, and then I got some great bonus. All right, uh, let's see really quick what I got. Um, first off is um, the good glass stuff is coming, don't worry. Uh, this is randomly taken out of the bag. I got this one for $1. Now this is from somewhere called North Light Studio, which I have never heard of from before, El Rito, New Mexico. But it just, you know, for a dollar and it had this kind of it's very, very good quality uh, frame here. And uh, it was kind of cool looking, kind of sort of, you know, hippie type stuff. But anyway, I'm wondering if this is some sort of artist collector uh, place um, you know a community where a lot of artists go I, that I don't know but anyway I have to look this one up but I've never heard of that before so very heavy then I got this and I've told you about this you know wool hats right now this one is vintage it's really cool I paid three dollars for that but the reason <laughs> that's this awesome vintage label in it um, right here you know it says Iceland on it but it's actually not made in Iceland, uh, it is made in Sweden. But same thing, it's beautiful, wonderful, um, old school uh, Scandinavian design here for this wool hat. So love, love that one. Okay, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. All right, um, I picked up, ooh, make sure everything's, this is very cute, it has a little hood here, but I got um, this little, it looks like, I guess they're penguins, but they kind of look like puffins to me. Um, just a fleece jacket for my daughter from Jimboree. That was, um, I guess, three dollars. And then, okay, here's the glass. Uh, let's see here. Oh, first of all, I just I, I picked up some um, index cards because I am uh, <laughs> doing a lot of vocabulary with my daughter. But I got a big, big uh, one of those uh, staple ones uh, for index cards. And then I did go to the glass aisle. First of all, oh, I got a really big beach towel as well. Uh, this is really nice. It looks, I think it's brand new. And that is for my Airbnb thing. I went through a lot of beach towels this year uh, for my guests and some of them kind of worn out. So now I'm looking, uh, now end of the season, I'm picking up some nice beach towels. That one, really big, really soft. And um, I think it's brand new. $3 for that. And then inside that beach towel, I found this. And if you look at this and this, was, it, like I've said so many times before, in a stack of a whole bunch of dollar store junk. And this had been there for a while because this has um, an, a pink sticker and this week's sticker is um, yellow. So I think pink must have been maybe last week. I paid $2 for this. And if you look at this, I was like, how do you know that that is not from the Dollar Tree? <laughs> When I saw this, I mean, I, I always kind of flip through the glasses and I look through the plates really quick because, you know, you never know. And this is a case in point. As soon as I saw it, I didn't recognize it right away, but there was something about it that just kind of stood out. There was this feeling that like, wait, let me look at that. that I, I, I like that thing. And if this had not been that great, I probably, I might have picked it up anyway because I liked the design. 
but this is something for two dollars i don't even know if you can tell but this is lalique lalique is fancy fancy stuff from france Rene Lalique, um, probably if you know a little bit about glass, you know Lalique because that is what is sort of the high standard of all kinds of glass when it comes from Europe. Um, this one, um, to me, this looks really vintage. I think this might even be, for me, it looks almost like Art Deco. I would not be surprised if this is from the 30s or 40s. Uh, because just the look of it, the feel of it, um, the etched Lalique thing here in the middle. Now, I have found and sold also Lalique in the past. They make some very, very famous perfume bottles. They make other beautiful uh, plates and everything, uh, bowls, um, beautiful statues. I mean, you need to look it up. I will um, uh, put a link to uh, the spelling and everything underneath. So if you have never heard of it, you definitely should familiarize yourself with it because here in the middle of all the Dollar Tree junk at Goodwill was this stacked in a whole bunch of other different types of platters. And again, Lalique, France. Um, I will put this on my account where I show my, um, uh, my sort of from um, Goodwill to eBay videos. I usually don't put my glass items on that one, that account, but I will for this one because I'm showing it here. In this so you know you can go back when this sells i am i'm definitely not i'm definitely please not taking less than a hundred dollars for this i am that excited all right so seriously you know it doesn't look when i look at it on the screen here doesn't it look like something that could come from target if you didn't know better anyway that's probably what the goodwill employees thought so two dollars and it's been there for over a week anyway i was super excited i don't find a leak a lot i have but it's not something that is very common. Okay, and then I'm packing on here. And, okay, then I'm going to Finland. And you know how much I like Scandinavian glass. That's kind of what I know the most. I mean, everybody knows Lalique if they know glass, but anyway. Um, first in the votive aisle, another thing that has been there, you know, since last week. It's not a great, great find or anything, you know, $1. But if you look under the price sticker there, do you recognize that? <laughs> That is Itala. That is Finnish and uh, very, very pretty. So it looks like a little ice cube here, you know, uh, for a candle. And, uh, you know, Itala, always good. Probably could get about $20 for this anyway, but I might keep it. Anything that has to do with glass and snow looking things, you know, I, I'm so tempted to keep, especially for the holidays. Staying in Finland. Okay, so I went into the glass section and I found this. And if you know glass, you might know this one too. Uh, and I only found one. I was so like, oh my gosh, there has to be more. Like usually when people donate stuff, there's like at least four, five, you know, five, one is broken, you had six, you know, there's seven, one was broken, you had eight. I only found this one and I was looking everywhere and I was like, oh no. And this has just come out because this has a um, yellow sticker. Um, look at this. This is like a um, whiskey glass, I guess, tumbler. And... Um, this is, um, what's, what is the pattern? It's not Tula, it's, um, it's Niva. It's Niva pattern. And I know because I, I actually have some. But anyway, um, not these glasses. Uh, this is by Tapio Vircola, which is one of those like really, really famous designers for Itala. But this is uh, beautiful. See how the ice thing kind of looks again, you know, but only one. And for $2. This one also even single, you know, it will, it will sell for like maybe 20, if I'm lucky, $25. But if I had a set, you know, oh, these things really, really sell. They're very, very classy. People like them. You know, they never got a style time-wise or anything. So anyway, two things from Itala, which was great yesterday. Anyway, so that was my glass. So excited. I'll do more glass videos. You know, I, I just, you know, I have to get the, the push to do them. Finally, I just went to the book aisle really quick. I got this one because it is one of my favorite authors of all time. This is Astrid Lindgren, Swedish. She wrote Pippi Longstocking and a lot of other really great uh, children's books. My kids love them. And this is uh, Astrid Lindgren, Storyteller to the World, and it's illustrated and it has, you know, a lot of stuff about her upbringing and everything. So I am really excited to read this. 50 cents for that one. And then World Mysteries Revealed. This is another book. Um, that I kind of think is kind of fun 
uh, as far as uh, leaving out for guests. You know, these kind of books are stuff that uh, I think in my little guest bookshelf library um, people like to grab because it's easy to read and kind of fascinating. And doesn't take a lot of space. And that was a dollar. Anyway, that was what I got yesterday. $18 all in total. I got Lalique from France. Beautiful platter. I got two Itala items. I'm tempted to go by there to, again today to see, like, maybe those the rest of those classes came out separately. I don't know. But those are, those are fairly um, recognizable by people who know glass. Uh, so if uh, somebody else saw them, they would also grab them for sure. I got that cool ski hat. I got that interesting tile. I got a, a big bleach blanket. And I got a fleece for my daughter. And I got a big box that I came in for in the first place. And some flashcards. Not bad. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think about glass. I can do more glass videos for sure. I know a lot of people just, they hate glass because they don't like shipping it. And I don't like shipping it either. But I do, I do love uh, glass myself. And some of that can bring some really good money. So especially in the glass shelf when there's just open territory. Absolutely. All right. I will uh, catch in with you and stop in with you uh, later on. Um, I am actually heading to Norway next week. So hopefully there'll be some more treasure hunting there as well. But uh, hopefully I can uh, stop in really quick before I go. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye from Kay in Mad Maine.